To set up your classes in GoGuardian, click on the GoGuardian icon inside of ClassLink. This year we are using our Google accounts to sign on. If it doesn't sign you on automatically, just click on the Login with Google button. If you sign on and you find that there are classrooms from previous school years, simply click on Archive and Archive again, and those classes will be removed from your main screen, but they're still available if you ever need to get back to them. Once you're in GoGuardian, you may not actually see any classes here just yet. This year we have to import them, and we can do that right from our Google Classrooms. So I'm going to click Import Google Classroom. This should pull up a list of any Google Classrooms that you have set up already. And it doesn't matter how they were set up, if the district did it automatically, or if you created your own. However they were set up, they're all going to be able to be pulled up in a list. And then I'm going to go ahead and start by clicking one of the Period 1 classes. The class has successfully been imported, and I can see that there are students in the class. And then the next step is going to be to set up um, to record the session. So to do that, we're going to click on Settings, and we're going to go over to the Scheduling tab. This is going to be very similar to how it was last year for those of you that did that. We're going to go down to Add Schedule. And essentially, we're just going to put in the dates and times of the class. So go ahead and put in the start and end times for the class. You can either type the number in or just pick it from a list. So I'm going to go ahead and pick 836, which is one of the middle school start times, AM, and click OK. And I think it goes until 906, that first period. Once I have both of my times in there, I'm going to check the days of the week that the class uh, meets, and then I'm going to click on Add Schedule. Um, for those of you that have blue gold day schedules, um, if you don't meet with the kids every day, um, if your schedule is consistent, you can pick the days of the week that it meets, but if it fluctuates each week, uh, the best you can do is just pick every day, and even if they're not with you on certain dates, you'll still be recording them, but at least you'll have all the dates recorded when they are with you. So I'm going to go ahead and click Add Schedule. You'll see the full schedule laid out here. If there were different dates where you wanted to change the time, so maybe you have a double period on certain days, you can say, okay, on Tuesday, I'm, I'm gonna go click over here and extend the time. So you can definitely make individual changes once this is all here. Once you have that in, this class is really um, all set and ready to go. So I'm gonna go back to classrooms up on the top left and I'll now see that I have my period one class here. So I'm gonna repeat those steps for all of the other classes. Again, you'll go back to import Google Classroom, pick the next class, and then set up the schedule. Once you've finished importing all of your Google Classrooms and setting up those times, you are all set with the setup. If you would like to add a co-teacher to your GoGuardian class, just click on Settings for the specific class that you want to add the co-teacher to. Then you'll click on Teachers. And then over on the right, you'll see the Add Teacher button. Just go ahead and type in an email address. And then under the classroom role, you can choose teacher and then just click add teacher. That way another teacher will be able to monitor those students as well.